You are a child of destiny and greatness. I serve the living God and I know that he would heal you. Just have faith. Onam. I know you love things. Hmm? Yes. If I come outside and I notice that there is any place that is dirty, I will beat you up. After beating you up, I will throw you out of this premises if you dare open your mouth to tell my husband anything. Do you understand? Yes. What did I say you should do? Good. Come on, move. Come on, move. Drop that! Come on, move! He wants us to book an appointment to see him. Haven't we tried enough? Are we giving up already? It's alright. Book an appointment with him for us to see him. That's my girl. See, let us try this one time. Okay? And now listen, with or without a child, I still love you regardless. I love you too. And I will put out the world for you. We gotta run, okay? Alright, baby. Alright. Yeah. Have a great day. Yeah. Careful. It's only the past now. You just have to let go. It's easier said than done. You know, the more I try to heal after so many years, instead of getting healed, I get more obsessed and raged. Well, that's by the way. I'm glad the universe gave me a perfect dude as a husband. Come on. Mabel, you know Philip is a very nice man. He deserves better, and you know it. Cynthia, my current situation is really getting at me. I need to know what the problem is. You get any man, I beg, link me up. Mm -mm, mm -mm, please, don't start. Please. It is time you stop this. I mean, this life is not good for you. Can you it's just stop, stop, stop it? Stop the sermon. Please, stop it. I need to know where the problem is coming from. If it's my husband or if it's myself. You get man happy, you not get man. to assist you in the kitchen. I can't do any chores. I can't do I can't do anything. I feel so useless. But no good, dear. God forbid. You are not useless and you would never be useless. 
Eh? God will heal you. I have faith in him. Oh? Is it when I die? Hey! I come back, I come back, I die. You will not die. Oh? God will heal you, I promise you. I believe so much in him. Um, my, my name is Pastor Ken. I was robbed on my way to the neighboring village for, for preaching. Please, ma, can I have some money for for transportation? transportation. To, yeah, so I can proceed to, to my for my journey. I'm so bad, you know, uh, um, I don't really have much. I'm just coming from the market. Mama, let me see what I have here. Four hundred and fifty nine. Yeah, it's enough. It's but enough. This more than enough, ma. Uh, well, no more, yo. Okay, you can have it. Mm, thank you so much, ma. It's ma'am. okay. Hey, ma, you don't have a child. Just like I said, yes. God will bless you with a child of destiny. <laughs> How can that be possible? My husband is already late. And besides, <laughs> there's no way I can give birth now. I need to figure level Just have faith in God. Okay. For whatever he says, he must surely do it. Amen. Yeah. May God be with you. And be with May you God too. bless you. Bless you too, Pastor. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. A child of destiny and greatness. I serve the living God and I know that He would heal you. Just have faith. Oh, no. I know you love know you love things. Hey! Hey! Which 
kind of dress is this one? Eh? All kinds of here. Who got a cousin? Eh? Eh? What dress are you wearing? Uh, take me out now. Take me out. Where did you get this one from? This is my new concept to upgrade our brand. To upgrade? Uh, well, how, how? Explain to me what you mean. Yes. I want us to upgrade our brand mm -hmm. so that people will buy it from us. Oh, if a man Yes. I see. So look. Yeah? I did a great job. You did a great job. You did a great job. But it's what you intend to achieve by doing this, so aside for. Come on. I want people to laugh once they see me. Okay. You know, there's a saying that laughter brings healing to the bones. So, I want to use this medium to spread healing to people. Ha! Mwam, we move. But let me say, Kaika, because okay. our customers will be waiting. Yes. Oh, by the way, where is your healer? Oh, I forgot. Don't forget, you know. Every now, one music. I'll see now. Eh? Sabi mo na mo wey. Eh? Go there, go there, go there, go there. Eh? Hey, Sabi, let's go. Wa. Anya pa.
There is no way we are going to take that option. Why? No way. The why? There's absolutely nothing wrong with uh, 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 IVF or surrogacy. Absolutely nothing wrong. There is everything wrong with it. There's no way I'm going to let another woman carry and give birth to my children. I will carry my children and I will give birth to my children myself. My love, I understand. But this right here is the only option for us to bear children. Philip, I beg to disagree with you. God is still on the throne and he is still in the business of answering prayers. All we need to do is just trust him. At the right time, God will give us our own children. When? When? When is the right time? When is the right time? Baby, look at me. God will definitely give us children. I will carry my children and give birth to beautiful and handsome kids just like you and I. Hmm? This, all of this will happen in his time. This, my love. It's all right then. Come and make love to me. Take me to cloud nine. <laughs> Baby, take it easy. What? What? Hi. Baby, I'm in the mood. I'm on fire. Baby, you... Take me there. Baby, Baby you, you... You have to take it easy. My goodness. What's going... Baby, what's... What's, what's come on you? Hey, it's a big one. It's a big one. What's going on? Hey. I'm watching you dance. Reverse my body and soul. Hey. Hey, it's all. Yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah. Take your money. Uh, madam, what time are you here? Ah, don't worry about it. Because it ain't
She has finally killed my only friend. Get my only friend! My only friend! Maggie, I want you! I want you! I told you that this girl is evil! I told you that this girl is evil! Why are you taking your sins me? Now you are no more! I have killed her! I want to use only care. Okay. 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 <laughs> well, I got this for you. Open it. <laughs> oh my! Aww. Tell me you like. I love it, baby. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much, baby. Thank you. You're welcome. What would I do without you? Nothing. Mm. Words. I cannot express how much I love you. I love you. Oh, baby, you see, let me look at the bag. One for the room. I know. <laughs> in this community before you leave. Sabi Nkwangwa, leave my side now! Singapore! Okay, don't worry, just leave. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, yeah, fra, but, oh, Anywhere you know you can put your head, go there and stay. I don't want to see you anywhere around here. I don't want to see you. By this time, Auntie Agnes threw me out of the house. Please, can I can I spend the night in your house? Who is this? And what is happening here? Please, Auntie Agnes threw out of the house. Can she spend the night here? Get inside. And you leave this compound and don't you ever step your feet in this compound again. Mama, I don't have anywhere to go. Please help me. Then go to your house. Mama. Sabi, go back to your house. I will not allow an asthmatic patient into my house. Or do you want to infect my family with your asthma? Ah, huh? then leave. Oh, please, I don't have any way to go. I don't know anybody. Sabi, leave my compound. <laughs> leave my compound. Um, I got an email from Meridia Homes as regards to our request. Guess what? It has been approved. Whoa! And the meeting has been scheduled with their project manager for Thursday. <laughs> you won't say! No, I'm serious, serious. <laughs> The Lord's doing. Whoa! This is good news! Indeed. See, 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 see what you're going to do, all right? Okay. Uh, put everything together. Okay. I wouldn't want anything to make us lose this deal. Oh, come on, you can we count You can count on me. We just <laughs> cannot lose this one! You can count on me. Congratulations, <laughs> bro! Whoa! Yes, bro. <laughs> This is fantastic. Eh? I'm so proud of you. Thank you, Mama. You know what this means? It means that the money I am paying for your school fees is not in vain. Mama, God forbid I will make you spend money in vain. I will never try it. I will always take the first position in my class or anywhere I find myself. Are you forgotten I want to be a medical doctor when I grow up? Bye, hello. So that I can take care of you and treat myself too. Hey, it's such a wonderful prayer. And I'm just praying that God will give me enough money to take care of you so that you will study to the highest level of education that you want to attain. Mama, mm? don't worry about that one. 
I'll participate in competitions so I can win scholarships. I already had that planned out. So by the time I win the scholarship, I will travel with you to Bodo Ibo. Yeah, but I got into a Bodo Ibo. Hey, we move, Mama. We move. Ah, oh, that's a good one. Yes. I'm so proud of you. So Thank proud you, of Mama. you. Hey, Mama. Let me go and keep it. Okay. You know your file now. Yes. Put it in your file. Oh. Hey. Wow. Mama, so bolo, so bolo. My special child. <laughs> so this is how I will die here. Nobody to talk to. Nowhere to go to. This is how I will just die. You didn't find it difficult tracing this place. No, uh, not at all. Not at all. We just had to put it in the mark. Oh, yes, <laughs> thanks for coming. Seems like you have a company. Uh, yeah. yeah. Although she's she's about leaving. Mm -hmm. the, the bag yeah. looks like my wife's bag. Oh come on, man! There are thousands of these bags out there in the market. Anyone could have one. Uh, uh, come on! Uh, are you saying your wife is here? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> my wife should be in our office. <laughs> Philip and his wife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, so um, shall we get to the business of the day? Of course. Okay. Of course. Oh, yes. Right here. Yeah, well, um, I've gone through them yeah, with, the, with the soft copy. Okay. Yeah, but before we proceed, I think I have to take it to the, to the Ministry of Land for document um, authenticity. Okay. All right? And then after that, we can proceed with the collaboration signing. So this procedure, how long would it take to be finalized? Um, just about just less than three weeks. Well, good, good enough. Yeah, because um, we have put in a lot of work in this. Yes. We counted on you. Ah, of course you can. You can count on me. You see, um, Merida Homes is one of the leading real estate companies in the country. We've done huge deals in the past, and this will not be an exception. So rest assured, we, we're going to kill it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So uh, we leave that with you, right? Okay. Yes. okay. Nice to do business. My brother. Okay. 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 All right. Thank so you. Yeah. Were you trying to set me up with my husband? Excuse me? What are you talking about? The two men who just walked out of here. The one in black shirt is my husband. Listen, I honestly had no idea he is your husband. I mean, I'm just seeing him for the first time in my whole life. 
I only invited them here for a business meeting and that's exactly what we had. I wonder he talked about you back. He did? She's fine, oh. though she's unconscious, but out of danger. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, if I may ask, who is she? Well, just a random girl I almost ran over. Um, she started having a seizure, so I decided to bring her to the hospital. Seizure, you say? Yeah. That wasn't seizure. She's asthmatic. What? And we really need to reach out to her people because I believe they should be looking for her by now. Yes. yes, 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 doctor. Um, all the same, you just have to wait for her to wake up. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me see her. No problem. Yes, I bought her some few items. All right, I will join you, join you very soon. Let okay. me get something. Mabel, how could you? How could you? I warned you about this, didn't I? Huh? Look at what you have done to yourself. <sighs> Me, Bill. God. God, what have I done to myself? What have I done? What have I done? You, you know, I didn't. I did not just do this because I wanted to do it, right? It was because of my present situation. That is not enough reason for you to cheat on your husband. What were you thinking? Huh? What? Where is he now? I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I don't even know what's my fate right now. I don't know. Bill. I'm finished. Do you think Philip will ever forgive me? Bill. I warned you. I warned you. I was telling you about this, but you were for me, Jagaba. You were for me like you know it all. Now look at it now. Ha! What do we do now? What do we do? Hmm. Believe me, I, I, I don't know what pushed me into this thought. A lot of thoughts have been going on in my head, so I, I decided to try someone else if I would be able to get pregnant. I know what, what I am about to tell you now. You, 
may not even believe me. I may sound stupid, but it is the truth. I didn't do anything with him. Nothing. I just got there. I was still trying to contemplate if I can do this or not. When you people arrived there and I, I ran into the bathroom. <laughs> Only to come out to tell him that I'm not doing anything and you 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 burst in on us. Absolutely nothing. I'm happy you're back on your feet. Uh, Sam, please, I don't want you to leave me. I want to follow you to your house. I can be doing anything for you. I can clean, wash, do anything. Please. Well, Sabi, your story is quite a pathetic one. And, uh, I'll do everything and anything to, to help you. Thank you, sir. But my clothes is in one uncompleted building. I don't know how we can go there and get it. Don't worry about the clothes, okay? I'll replace them. Okay. As far as they are replaceable, I'll definitely replace them. Thank you, sir. Don't worry. Yes, hop in. Good evening, Ma. Um, that's Sabi. Yes, she'll be staying with us. Excuse me? Staying with who? Oh, Mom, honey, we need to talk in the room, okay? Sabi, make yourself comfortable. Sabi, Sabi. But you see, um, after taking her to the hospital, cause I almost ran her over the other day. What? Yes, my love, you see, 
after hearing her stories, blah, blah, blah. And um, so you see, I couldn't just leave the little girl on the street. Uh, so I had to bring her home. I don't understand. She doesn't have a family? Well, uh, she lost her mother some few weeks ago and her aunt threw her out of the house. That's the more reason you shouldn't bring her to the house. She may be some sort of bad omen, you know. My love, I beg to disagree. You see, my instincts tell me something different. Have you thought about a situation whereby she might just be the open door, you know? Her presence might just be the open door to us having our own child. Yes, see, there's a saying that the presence of a child begets another. Oh, please. I don't believe in all that nonsense. Oh, no. My love, I beg you to give me some time to figure out what next to do. All right? That's exactly what you should do. Because I don't want her staying in this house longer than necessary. Thank you. I'm asking, don't you ever try that rubbish again. Hurry up, take these things outside, wash it. Once you're done, come back and let me know so I give you another chance to attend to. Okay, ma. <laughs> Come down and open the door for you. You don't have common sense. If you have one, use it. Come open the door and take the clothes out yourself. Stupid. Johnny. That one is there is for who? Your head. The CSC contract has been approved. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, I need to be at the office to sign some documents, right? It's all good. It's all good. I'll be there. I'll be there. Meeting with Mr. Bassi. I sincerely thought that I mean we've lost out on the contract. <laughs> Don't mind that no see Mr. You see, there were proofs that we, we, we did a very good job and we deserve the contract. Oh yeah, you oh, can yeah. see that again. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Okay. Um hello Mr. Alex. Yeah, can we have the inspection done today? Uh, yes, 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 we, we can. We can. Let's meet uh, let's say 10 a.m. I'll see you on 10. All right, all right. Okay, bye. Who's that? Mr. Alex, the Merida uh, home guy. Okay. It seems our contract with them has clicked. He just called for inspection. You see? I didn't tell you. <laughs> What's up with today? Like two deals in a day? Amazing, right? Who knows that? <laughs> no, 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 
I need to get you right. You are hungry and you need to rest a bit before you continue. No problem. Hmm? What you do is you will wait, I'll go inside, dish your food, I will serve you, eat very well. Relax, rest very well. Think you think you're okay when you continue. All right, Yes. You went shopping? Oh, yes, baby. Uh, baby, guess what? Just tell me. You remember the CIC um, contract I told you about? The one um, I thought I had lost? Yeah, 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 I remember. Check me out, sweetheart. 
deal signed and sealed. Oh, why? <laughs> <laughs> yes, baby. Not only that. Okay. You remember the Meridia um, collaboration deal? Yes. Signed and sealed. That's amazing, baby. Two deals in one day. Come here. Congrats, my baby. Congrats. Oh, yes, my love. <laughs> Look at that. Um, yeah, so I bought you these. This is for you. Okay. Yes, and this is for Sabi. By the way, where is she? Um, she should be somewhere around the house. Yeah. So, uh, baby, what did you buy for her? Um, These things are really expensive. You bought this for her? Baby, this is nothing. This is just a few clothes and um, shoes to keep her going. <laughs> Excuse me. Sabi, what are you doing? Good evening, sir. And why are you the one washing my clothes? I'm so, so my mom don't say that she washes. What? Come. How could you? How could you give her all those clothes to wash? Sabi, have you eaten? Holy Moses, how could you starve her and then give her all those clothes to wash? Starve? Did you say starve? Sabi, why would you lie now, eh? Why would you lie to my husband? I told this girl to specifically tell me when she is hungry so I can give her something to eat, eh? These clothes are really expensive. Oh. But she didn't tell me. And she was the one who said she wants to wash, that that's the only way she can feel very useful. Monty, sorry. Useful in this house. So, you know, when she kept insisting, I didn't have a choice. I had to allow her. Ah, this is really pricey. Your clothes are nice. Huh? Open your mouth and tell my husband what you said now. Hmm? Sorry. You don't have to overwork yourself to be useful. Is that understood? Yes. Let today be the first and last you engage yourself in such strenuous jobs or chores again. The housekeeper also use you, okay? Yes, Please, Ali, make something for her to eat. Definitely. Hmm? Since she wants to eat now, I'll give you food next time. Tell auntie you want to eat. Hmm? I'm your auntie. Oh, and, um, I bought you Baby, relax now. Am I not the woman of the house? I will give her these things. This one is so fine. This one is waiting Christmas. Honey, Christmas? This is just January Christmas. You? Honey, you know this is a little girl. I don't want her to mess this clothes up. Let us start with the dark color. Oh, this one. Yes, I am. You want to eat, eh? Oh, our baby. Come here, come my baby, come, come, so that we can give you food. Go and wait, go and wait at the dining, eh? Eh, eh, sit, take a seat. Come and collect it, let me see. Hey, honey, I'm coming, oh! Let me fix your pretty daughter up.
What are you doing? I'm watching television. You're watching television. On whose permission? Eh? That you would sit down comfortably on my couch and relax watching television. Where you came from, do you own a TV? Talk more watching it. Are you done cleaning this house? No, sir said I should not do anything. Indeed. Indeed. Now you listen. Hmm? You will go outside. You will clean everywhere. If you see pin, a drop of it, lift it, pick it up, sweep everything. If I come outside and I notice that there is any place that is dirty, I will beat you up. After beating you up, I will throw you out of this premises if you dare open your mouth to tell my husband anything. Do you understand? Yeah. What did I say you should do? I should clean everywhere. Good. Come on, move. Come on, move. Come drop that. Come on, move. Sabi, 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 sabi
Asthmatic. You knew that and you brought her to the house? I couldn't just leave her at the hospital. I had no other choice but to bring her home, at least give her shelter. No, Philip. You had a choice. The choice was take her back to where you brought her from, or better still, take her to an orphanage or leave her on the streets. I mean, there is no way I am going to allow that girl remain in this house. She has to go. Come on, baby. Come on. For crying out loud, please, let, let us figure out what to do, all right? Where to take her to? I, I'll take her to a specialist hospital and... And then just begin to waste money on some random girl that you picked up on the streets? Listen, I am your wife. I will not let you do that. Okay, can I at least figure out what next to do with her? Please, I beg of you. Can I? Yes, fast, fast. <laughs> We'll keep going. Auntie be going now. Oh. Hmm? Don't have anywhere to go. I want to stay back. Yes, yes. Oh. Auntie, when you came into my house, you came with nothing. Auntie, you will go with nothing. Okay? Be going. That's why I didn't let you carry those clothes, the bags, and everything. Shall we? Shall we? Shall... Hey, come, come. You're still wearing the slippers. My husband got my dear. Pull it up. Hey, SAP. Pull it up. I, I don't want to touch you. Move. So you don't infect, infect me with your disease. You going? Yes, like that. Make sure the blinds don't touch your body. Oh my God! Sneak out. That's it. Out. Keep going. Going, going.
Yeah. <laughs> of course, I recognize that aroma. <laughs> What's cooking? Foodie, I made your favorite, baby. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah. So, um, where do I start? I eat this first before I move over to the water in the kitchen. <laughs> where do I start from? Where do you suggest? Uh, okay, because you ask, baby, I would say eat the food in the kitchen first, and then we can go to the room and do <laughs> It's all right. It's all right. It's a good one. Well, I have good news. Um, uh, by the way, where is Sabi? Uh, I sent her out. Excuse me? What did you just say? I sent her out. I did what was best for us. You are mean. Mabel, you did what was best for you and not for us. Who does Maybe, that? What? Babe, see. Uh, it's not that serious now. How are you? Fine. Why are you all alone? Why? I'm are you okay? I don't have anywhere to go to. Oh, what about your parents? I don't have any parents or relatives. I'm alone. I don't know where to go to. Alright, it's okay. You can come with me. Let me take you home. I was actually on my way to the parish. But you can come with me. Let me take you home, okay? It's not safe for you here. Don't worry. I will take you home. You'll be very okay. Come on. Come with me. You'll be fine. Hmm? Come. You'll be safe, okay? Let me take you home.
sabi 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 Why did you stay that long? I mean, you didn't have to stay out that late looking for that girl. Am I expected to answer that question? You threw an innocent girl out. What did she do to you? Are you just wicked? You know, I don't understand why you're getting yourself unnecessarily worked up for nothing. I simply did what you couldn't do. I mean, you do not expect me to sit down, fold my arms, and watch you not your trouble all in the name of help. Mabel, for crying out loud, you're turning into something else. Have you ever thought about it? What if that girl has an attack? Who is going to come to her rescue? Oh! I mean, she will still help herself the way she used to before she met you. So don't even start sounding like I'm the worst person you've ever come across. You are supposed to show that girl tender love and care. So ask and come. There is no way I'll have an asthmatic child. You are nowhere close to redemption.
Breakfast is served. I am not hungry. This is the first time you're rejecting my food. It can start in a day. My wife don't try you. Eh? She don't try at all now. Sincerely, my brother, I don't know what I did to deserve such, you know, disrespect. Nobody would believe your wife would behave in such manners. Eh? Is, is there a reason for her attitude that you know about? Well, uh, from every indication, I think it's uh, all this attitude started from the moment I brought in the girl I told you about. Well, I I understand her to an extent, but then I think she needed to, you know, get your opinion before taking such actions, before taking laws into her hands. God bless you. She knew that I was going to react negatively or react in a way that she might not like if I were to be at home when she sent the girl away. So she waited when I left the house, she sent her back in. Yes. Right now, I, I can't. I, I am just helpless. Sabi girl. Has she eaten? I can't help to ask hmm. my, myself these questions. What if she has an attack? Who is going to come to her rescue? Well, just, just take it easy, man. Uh, I, I believe you will find her. Uh, now you have to just concentrate on work. Besides, have you been able to report the case to the police? <laughs> what am I going to tell them? What's her identity? You are not saying anything. You just got back now at this time of the night and you're not saying a word. I called and called your phone severally. You won't take my calls. You won't return it. What's going on? Philip, I am talking to you. What is going... Don't you think you went too far? I don't get it. So I should wait for him to shower all the love that he would shower on my unborn children on her before I react? Oh, please. I never liked that girl from the onset. That is why I sent her out of the house. That's not enough reason for you to take the laws into your hands. I mean, that girl is a little child. A small girl that would have treated you like a mother if you had treated her like a daughter. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That asthmatic patient, my daughter, call for bitch. Oh, please, neighbor, don't start. I beg you. Stop this now. I mean, she didn't create herself or she didn't even put herself in that situation. Eh? So stop acting up. I beg. Uh -uh. Whatever. My major concern now is my husband. He doesn't talk to me. He doesn't eat my food. He comes home whenever it pleases him. No more chit chats, nothing. You know, it's just, it's, I'm worried. I don't know what exactly I'll do to make sure I get him to come around. Oh, really? You should have thought of that before sending that little girl away. Excuse me? It's my husband I'm talking about here. Why are you deviating from the subject matter? Because everything surrounds her. Everything is about the girl. The whole changes began when you sent her away. What were you thinking, Mabel? Cynthia. What do you mean? Okay, I, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, okay? He's going to come around. All you need to do, give him time. Give him time to heal, okay? He's going to come around. It's just a matter of time, okay? Time. For how long? 
as long as it takes him to heal. Mabel, all you need to do is to ask for forgiveness. I mean, drop the pride. Ask him for forgiveness. You were wrong. Yes. Ask him for forgiveness. Talk to him. Touch him. Enjoy. I mean, he's a man now. Touch this man. Make him understand that you're sorry. And that ends it. Simple. Don't touch me. Baby. Baby, please stop now. Eh? Stop. I'm sorry. If you're truly sorry, you will go out there and find her. I don't know where she is. My love. Can we just sincerely go back to the way we used to be? I miss us. Abel, the day you sent her out of this house, you lost my respect. Oh yes, a little girl who has no one to run to. Abel, you are wicked. You are so wicked, Abel. What do I do to make up for this? Good question. Go to the streets and find Sabi. Bring Sabi home. the streets and find Sabi. Bring Sabi home.
Baby, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. That's enough. All right? <laughs> I didn't just like the idea that you took this decision without me. I didn't like the fact that you sent her out even when I told you that she has nowhere to go to. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Don't worry, we'll find that together. It's okay. It's okay, my love. Oh. Find that together. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. I am here to see um, Philip. What business do you have with him? <laughs> Maybe I heard voices. Who's that? Oh, here comes the man of the moment. Baby, I have missed you so much. Why have you refused to come see me? I, 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 come on, are you, are you insane? Are you insane? Well, what are you doing here? Since you have refused to come see me, I'm here now. Um, <clears throat> what's going on here? Oh, sweetheart. Your darling husband planted a seed inside of me 
and I am here to nurture that seed so it can grow comfortably in its territory. What is she talking about? Uh, baby, you wouldn't believe the nonsense that is coming out of her mouth, would you? Oh, really? I am pregnant for your darling husband. What? Are you lost for words? <laughs> She's lost for words! <laughs> um, sweetheart, your husband is a very strong man, a macho. You needed to see the way he handled me. Oh my God! No man has ever touched me that way. I screamed, oh, put it baby. Shut up. And I wasn't talking to you. Philip, answer me. What is she talking about? Baby, listen to me. Okay? You need to listen to me. Listen to what exactly? Didn't you do it? sorry, my love. Sincerely, deep in my soul, I am sorry. I woke up that morning and I found myself on Stella's bed. You found yourself on another woman's bed. What were you doing there in the first place? My love, I didn't plan for any of this to happen. I'm really sorry. Stella has been threatening me to take responsibility of the pregnancy, of which I refused. That is the reason she found her way here. Philip, are you listening to yourself talk? What were you doing in another woman's room in the first place? What were you doing, Philip? Philip, oh my God. You don't need to come out so we can talk. What exactly are you doing here? So what exactly are you doing here? Do you want to destroy my home? By the way, who got you pregnant? Because I can't remember having sex with you. It's not about shouting, okay? But you remember waking up from my bed, right? What is your price? My price. Have a seat so we can talk properly. Sit. Good. Well, um, the truth is, I am in my child's father's house to take care and to give birth to this child in peace. What really is your price? Sorry to disappoint you. I don't want anything. Listen to me and listen good. I am now your responsibility. So you will do what is expected of you. Oh, sorry, sweetheart. I was so harsh. So sorry. Do you know you're a sweet man? Relax. You surely know how to take a woman to the highest point, Cloud Nine. Babe! <laughs> Whatever. 
whatever. I will take care of myself and find my way around. <laughs> yeah, home sweet home. <sighs> Stella, you're a big girl now. <laughs> Here to stay and no stopping us. Hey, sugar. Good morning. Baby, say good morning to your daddy. Baby says good morning to your daddy. Don't worry, okay? That is really off for work now, okay? So, baby, you're off for work, right? Well, I, I wish I could join you, but you know now I'm really stressed and heavy. So you need to look for someone who would fill in that gap. So I can't do that because of my pregnancy. And you again, baby, did you prepare something for me? Hmm? You know. I can go into the kitchen. Are you sick or something? Not. The stomach is not yet out. And here you are making demands. Now let this be the first and the last time I'll be going to walk and stop me to spew nonsense. If you're hungry, head into the kitchen and cook for yourself. Come on, baby. We, we love you. Whatever. said anything. Why are you crying? You're making me worried. Speak already, please. What happened? Did anyone die? Philip got another woman pregnant. What? Philip got his secretary pregnant. <gasps> Philip can never do such thing. So I thought to, till she came. Until she came. I don't understand. She lives here now. <sighs> Everything happened so fast. There was basically nothing I could do. I couldn't even think of anything at all. I couldn't think of anything at all. Mabel, is this you or something got into you? A woman comes in here claiming that your husband got her pregnant and you allow her to stay. Who does that? Mabel, what got into you? Is this you or there's something into you I don't understand? I, I am so broken right now. I'm, I mean, if. It hurts me so much. I, I can't even start imagining it, but I will have to share my husband with another woman inside my home. <laughs> it's okay. You don't need to break down, okay? You need to have enough strength. You need to be yourself, get hold of yourself, so to think of what to do first to secure your home. This is your home, Mabel. This is your house. You don't allow one useless prostitute to come here claiming that, 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 that your husband got her pregnant. You don't need to allow that. You need to fight this fight. Secure your home. Fight it. I promise you, girlfriend, you're not alone. We are fighting it together. Okay? Please don't cry. What the hell is this that you're crying for? Who is she? 
I, I want to see her. I want to know what she looks like. dining and eat. This is not the right place to eat. Can you just quit the pretense? Because I know you can hear me. Bring the food to the dining and eat. Who the hell are you to think that you can order me around? Huh? Do I look like a child to you that you command to sit and stand? This is where I want to sit and eat. Do your worst. Have you no shame? You get pregnant for a married man and still come into his house to drag space with his wife. I am in no competition with you, madam. I did what you could not do in years. So you should be grateful to me and stop acting up. Grateful, you say? Grateful that you have come into my home to ruin it? This is life, you know. Mabel, you were so pathetic. You have lived with a man for so many years and you could not get pregnant for him. But I did it with just a touch. I am not God that gives children. Mm. Do not mock me. Then, it is evident that you have lost. Allow me the privilege to take care of your home. This is life, you know. Mabel, you were so pathetic. You have lived with a man for so many years and you could not get pregnant for him. But I did it with just a touch.
I am here to stay. No transfer, no leave. That is none of my business. Look, I am pregnant, so she has no choice than to respect me. <laughs> Since I got here, she has been crying like a poor widow. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let her just wait. Let me give birth to this baby. Then she will cry an ocean like I care. That's not my concern. Mm -mm. That's not my concern. You're getting me pissed right now. Let me call you later, please. A stranger, come, I mean, I'm a third party ruin all that we have worked for, all that we have shared over the years. Baby, I beg you, please. I love you and you know it. Let's go together. Okay. No. Or you drive me. No. You drive me. No. <laughs> Don't ever drive me, please. Me too. Oh. Have a good day, okay? Take care. Man. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm so happy that you and your wife are back together. At least oh, happiness has returned to oh, your home. Yes, it has returned to my home. You see, the road was tough. It wasn't mm -hmm. easy, but I'm glad we're good together now. It's just to the happiness oh, yes. in your home. Oh, yes. <laughs> mm. um, uh, what about Stella? Well, uh, what, what would you have me do? Stella and I, um, we have no future, all right? But the most important thing is that my wife and I are back together. But I hope you're not planning to take responsibility for her pregnancy. 
What my brother? You see, as a matter of fact, uh, if I, I remember vividly sleeping on a bed, when I woke up, yeah, I woke up and so, 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 so what, Philip? So what? Eh? Don't tell me you're planning to take responsibility for this girl's pregnancy. Why? So for something to be pregnancy that you're not even sure about. You're not even sure if two of you had intercourse or anything. Philip, open your eyes. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. I don't die a spell or something. Yeah. Eh? Better. But let us not spoil the moment. As a matter of fact, I am happy that my wife and I <laughs> are back together. Hi. I know how it used to be for you. The, the, the few days that you guys were in, were, were in chaos. Oh, Lord <laughs> of us. Lord of us. He is not even looking my way. He chases me anytime I try to come close to him. I will leave this place as soon as I get what I want. Excuse me? What do you mean by that? Oh, please, save it. You sent me here to make sure they go their separate ways. But as we speak, they are back and are stronger. I won't leave you until, until I get the money. Philip has to vomit it whether he likes it or not. Oh, really? I should accept defeat because your plans didn't work right. Oh, please, that's your own cup of tea. Do whatever you want. I'm not going to do that. Jesus. I wouldn't want to use violence on you. But as such, I am only going to ask these questions about what? Who sent you? Who sent you? I said... Who sent you? Tony... Tony... Tony sent me, sir. Tony? Which story? Your, your friend, Tony. Mr. Tony? Yes, Mr. Tony, your, your, your friend sent me, sir. Um, I'm here now, so what's the business um, deal? I need you to, to lure your boss into sleeping with you. Sorry, I... I didn't get that. Can you rephrase? I need you to lure your, bo your boss into going to bed with you. And then you claim to be pregnant after a few weeks. But, sorry. I, I thought my boss is your friend and a business partner. It's none of your business. Now tell me. Are you in or out? Okay, um, if I'm in, what's, what's, what's the, what's the offer? I will reward you handsomely. <laughs> you won't talk about business. State how much you want to pay me for this. What do you want? Three million. Two million, and we strike a deal. Okay then, two million. It's to do business with you. Sir, I, I took actions the night you got drunk at the office.
Good morning, darling. So I said, what happened here? Don't tell me you don't remember the night we shared. Baby, you were grinding me like a house. <laughs> you were top notch, and I like it like it. <laughs> Shut up! Nothing, I swear, nothing happened that night. Are you saying you are not pregnant for him? Baby, wait. Why would Tony want to read my life? Sister, he, he, didn't, he didn't tell me the reason. But, but, but I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry that I took part in that plot. Please, sir, forgive me, ma, please. Do you know you almost succeeded in separating my husband and I? What if you had? Would sorry bring both of us back together? Oh, thanks to God that didn't happen, Ma. Please, thank God. Know what I know why I did what I did? Huh? You want to know? Oh, fine, fine, I'll tell you everything. Philip, who do you think you are? You, you, you act as if you know everything. You, you headed everything while you, you treat me as though I, were, I am just an errand boy. What nonsense is he talking about? What nonsense are you talking about? Because you're not making sense. You better start talking and making sense. Philip, I was supposed to, I was supposed to handle the CIC project. I was supposed to handle that project single-handedly, but no, you felt I wasn't capable, and then you had to, to, to get yourself involved. Philip, you were so wicked, and I don't even regret doing anything I did. Yes, because I wanted to get back at you, and the only way I could think of was to get, you know, get rid of what you cherish most, which is your family. Yes, your home and your wife who you're always bragging about. Tony, you were not just my friend. You were, you were like a brother to me. If you had any grievance, why did you not come to me? Come to you. Come to you so I could be at your mercy as usual. Huh? Hell no! No! To hit your guts, Philip. Tony, I carried you along. I left important projects for you. Important tasks. What wrong did I commit? What more do you want from me? You are one of a selfish man. You were the one who has been selfish. You were the one who has always been selfish. Now there is no moral justification for your actions. Today, this minute, the second, marks the end of this friendship. Take yourself, your pimpled face, and get out of my house this minute. Go out. Mom, 
Go out. If I get a hold of you, come on, get out. So please don't suck me, please. Um, Sabi, this is Amaka. Amaka, this is Sabi. She's going to be your new roommate. Hmm? Um, Sabi, her former roommate was adopted last week. Hmm? So you're going to be her new roommate now. Nice to meet you, Amaka. Okay, so I am going to leave the both of you now. Hmm? We'll catch up later, okay? Okay, sister. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. So, Amaka, we're friends now, right? Yes. So, can I join you? Yes, of course. accepts me once they find that about my sickness. I don't know what to do again. Mama. Mama, you promise to stay with me forever. God, please. God, please save me from this sickness. Heal me. And I'll forever serve you. Please, Lord. I don't want to miss this opportunity. I don't want to leave this place. This is my last hope. I don't know where else to go from this place. Please, Lord. Today, for the air, for the water we took today, the food, everything, we have to thank God and worship God. 
because it's not easy. Many of us went to sleep last night, but they couldn't sit today. But God gave us the opportunity to sit today. So we need to glorify his name. For him alone will be worshipped in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's ask God for forgiveness of sins. Anywhere we have sinned against him, he should forgive us our sins and wash away our iniquities. We all have sinned against him. For the Bible said that any man who says he or she has never sinned is lying for the second time. So we all ask God for forgiveness of sins so that we'll be cleansed again in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's all sit. I'm preaching from the book of John 3.16. John 3.16 says, for God loved the world so much that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not die but have eternal life. We have to love one another because God sacrificed his only son, his only son to die for our sins. So we we'll have no more sorrow, no more pain, no more complaints. So we have to love one another. Anything that can hurt your fellow, your neighbor, you should avoid it, okay? Because we are the apple of God's eyes. So that is the topic for today. Love. Can you repeat after me? Love. Thank you all. Children, a round of applause for her. As you've all heard, what did she say? She said, love one Hi. another. Good. Sabi, please come. I noticed you love dancing a lot. I've seen you several times, so I got this for you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Go on, see that. Okay, children, so let's all go inside and start our today's activity. Come on, children, let's go. All right, let's go, let's go.
today is moral values. Moral values can be defined as those guidelines that assist one to make decisions to make decisions on what is right and what is wrong. There are those personality traits that assist us to know what is right and what is wrong. In order to create honest, credible, fair judgment in our daily lives, awareness of one's moral with life awareness is needed. So here we need to hear the importance of moral values in children. It builds their characters. It helps to build our character. Like I said earlier, moral values helps us know what is right and what is wrong. So by so doing, it will make you, it will help you to discipline yourself. You will have a self, self, you will be self-disciplined. Do you understand? So another importance of moral value in our life. It helps us to know what is right and what is wrong. It helps us to know what is In other words, it makes us to have self-control. We we'll have self-control over things, over ourselves. We we'll know how to react over things. We we'll know how to handle things. The third one, it determines the adult behavior. It determines the adult behavior. It helps you to improve your mindset, the way you think. It promotes. It improves. It makes you to to level up. So moral values are very necessary in our lives. The next one, it counters bad influence from peers. When you know what is right and what is wrong, where you can differentiate the right things and the wrong things, it will make you know that doing this or doing this is bad. And it will make you run away from bad people because you already know that doing this is very very bad. So it will make you, it will help you to associate yourself with bad people. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. yes. And also, it boosts our self-confidence. Moral value boosts our self-confidence. When you know what is right and what is wrong, nobody can intimidate you. Nobody can bully you. You can stand for yourself and you can fight for yourself. You will be strong in any decision you want to take. Another one, it teaches them to think about others. It makes you think about others. And this is called selflessness. It makes you to be selfless. You won't only think about yourself, but about other people around you. You want to care about what your fellow, uh, your, your neighbor is eating, how his friend, about how, how everything is going. So it's very, very necessary in our life. A round of applause for her. We all have heard what she said, right? Yes. Hope you understood everything she said. Yes. Sabi, thank you very much. Hmm? I have a, a record of what you just did here and I am going to post it on the social media, okay? Give her a round of applause. And again, I hope you guys learned something from what she has said. Yes. Try to emulate Sabi. Hmm? Try to follow her step. Try to be close to her. Try to learn from her, okay? Did you hear me? Yes. Did you all hear me? Yes. Give her a round of applause again. Are you ready? Yes. Are you still ready? Yes. On your mark. Sabi, 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 sabi
see this small rat of yesterday. I'm appearing on my internet. Now what? Just make sure you don't fall down there and disgrace yourself because I don't even know the rubbish you're talking about. This rat again. Mm -hmm. What is it with the rat? Look. I called you to commend you for all you've done within the few months you've been with us. We won the state quiz competition, the debate competition, and now the chess competition. You brought our school and orphanage to limelight. I bless God the day I met you. You are indeed a child of grace. Thank you so much, sister. You're welcome. I owe you my entire existence. I've gone this far because of you. Despite my illness, you took me in, clothed me, shelter, feed me, yet you put me in a good school. I'm so happy and I'm forever grateful. Sabi, so speaking about your illness, your lab, last um, lab test results shows you don't have the emails anymore. You can see for yourself. Come on. <laughs> How? This is a miracle. Indeed it is. Who has answered my prayers? What God cannot do does not exist. He always comes true for his people. I'm happy for you. Me too. Come here. Come here. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. This pastor I'm talking about, he is signs and wonders himself. Whatsoever your problem is, once you get there, it is solved. Yes. Mm -hmm. hmm, my dear. If not for that pastor, I would have lost my fiance to one stupid, idiotic prostitute like that. But after the prayers he gave me, and I did it, come and see the way my fiance is running after me. He can't even stay for an hour without talking to me or checking up on me. Everything is just so working, so it's just so into me right now. Is that so you're saying he would be able to solve my childlessness if I see him? Yes. My love is calling me, see? <laughs> Hello, love. Yes, baby. I'm still at Mabel's place. Hmm? In an hour's time. Okay, 30 minutes. No problem. I'll be there in 30 minutes. <laughs> I love you too. All right, honey. Bye, baby. See you. This is how it works. I told you. You see, his ministry days, um, Wednesday, yeah, Wednesdays. Then you want to see him one on one, Saturdays. But if you don't have time, it's okay. I can book him for you. He will come to the house and see you and do the prayers here. Oh, really? Yes, I can book him for you. And then that's perfect now. So my husband can even join in the prayers too. Okay, no problem. I'll do that for you. But meanwhile, I need to run along. My boo is waiting for me. Let right, me enjoy that. it now. <laughs> All right, love. Take care of yourself, okay? You're having so much All fun. Right. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Philip, how can you make such a mistake? How? 
it was boldly written on the contract form. You shouldn't have signed such document without my consent. <laughs> well, the deed has been done. As my lawyer, I would want you to advise me accordingly. Yes, sir. How do I get out of this mess? Our chances are slim. Yes, but I will see what I can do. I knew I could count on you. I have to be on my way now. It's all right. I, I will give you a call if there is any headways. I'll be expecting you. Take care of yourself. We will have children when we will. God's time is the best. But we need to put in effort so God can bless us. Baby, I heard of this um, pastor and his ministry. Please, can we just try? Baby, haven't we tried everything? But we can't give up now, please. Just this one last try. I beg of you. Well, if that will make you go back to sleep. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, my love. I love you. God said I should ask you. Why did you do it? Why did I do it? <laughs> that child was a child of destiny. And you threw her away. Why did you have to throw that baby away? So I, I, I was naive and young. I, I didn't know what I could do with a child at that age. So the only option I had was to throw the child away. And you invited me here to pray for you so that God who bless you with the fruit of the womb. Am I correct? Yes, Pastor. Get up! Get up! Oh, please! 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 Oh, please!
Young lady, what are you doing here? <laughs> it's alright, it's alright. Um, please don't be afraid, okay? Um, why are you seated here all alone by yourself? I don't have anywhere else to go to. My mother is dead. And my uncle chased me out of our house. It's alright, okay? It's okay. I have a comfortable place. I even have a spare room where you can stay. Just come with me, okay? Come with me. You can, you can stay in my house. I understand, okay? I, I know how you feel. Yeah, I'm a good man. I'm a good... I'll take care of you. Alright? Just come, okay? Don't give me your back. Let me just take you home. So I can, you can rest, okay? Just come. for me. <laughs> Sir, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Sir, God bless you for everything you've been doing for me. Thank you. He said, me, sir. Why not call me daddy? You know? In fact, henceforth, call me daddy. Okay. Where are you going? To try everything. Yes, go on. So that if anyone doesn't size you, I can easily return that one. Okay. Where are you going? I want to go and change. No, 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 no. Change here. In fact, I can help you. You know. Okay. They come. Let me help you so that, you know. Just try it. Hmm? <laughs> Wear it. Okay. Hmm. After all I have done for you, after this small thing, you are still crying. I advise you clean up this your crocodile tears and eat. In fact, henceforth, we'll be doing it morning and night. Eat so that you save up some strength. For you. I'm coming. Why are you outside? I was just looking around.
continued like that for years until he finally drew me out of the house. I I survived that phase of my life doing many old jobs and also sleeping in my employer's shop. When the child came, I couldn't think of anything else to do than to just throw the child in there. Sorry that I, I never told you about it. Please forgive me. Ma! Pastor, I am angry and pitiful at the same time. I can't just imagine what she went through. It is a good thing you opened your heart. God is ever merciful and kind. Well, there is only but one thing we can do. You see, we need to look for this little child. You seriously need to look for her. Ask her for forgiveness. Once she forgives you, you will be blessed with the fruit of the womb. Yes. Thank, thank you, Pastor. Thank Lady, you. We, we need to look for her as soon as possible. Hey, sir. Hey, sir. I, I, I have an idea. I suggest we go back home. No one has a clue to our search. Babe, I think we should just hold on. Let's ask one or two other people we see. Maybe we would get good information. Okay. Mm. If you say so. Uh, uh, excuse me, ma. Excuse me. Sorry. Good, good evening, ma. Yeah, good, good evening. evening. Good evening. Yes. Ma, please, we are trying to... Uh, get an information about something. I hope all is well. All is well, ma. Uh, it's, it's just that um, I'm trying to find out about a, a baby that was thrown away beside a bush along a care road. Yes, so many years ago. So I'm, I'm her mother's sister, you know, and she desperately wants to see the child. That's why we came. And she has promised that whoever helps to find that child will be paid handsomely. I don't know, did you ever hear about that? Baby thrown in the bush along a key road. Yes. Yes, I heard about. But why are you looking for her? That girl is evil. I advise you forget about her, please. It is a matter of life and death, right? Yes, so at least let us just find her for the sake of her mother. Yes. I... I don't even know her whereabouts. I don't at all. But... There's a picture she took with my daughter. Both of them were friends. I don't know if that uh, picture is still on my phone. I don't... 
I must check. Mm. At least so we will have a face to the child and uh, we can identify the child. You say there's no problem. No, no, yeah. there's no problem at all. No. And I'm just seeing the face. What? My goodness. Oh, Sabi. <sighs> goodness. What have I done to myself? If only you were kind to her. Maybe she would have been here with us. But no. You sent her away. I have done my part, Mabel. I am done with this. Deal with it.
You're dancing over there. I like her so much. You mean Sabi? Her name is Sabi. She was abandoned on the street. And ever since I brought her to this orphanage, she has been a source of light and inspiration among her pairs. Mm -hmm. Yes, and she was actually the overall best student in the just concluded reading competition held last week. She's perfect. I like her. You do? Yes. Can we take her home? Sure you can. Just follow me to the office so you can sign the necessary papers. Let's go. My husband doesn't eat my food anymore. He doesn't even talk to me. And I know it's all my fault. It's okay. Stop crying, okay? Stop crying. You shouldn't be doing this to yourself now. What we should be talking about is how we can get this girl. But wait, the day you sent her out, did you see anyone around we can ask her whereabouts? Anyone? No one. Ah, this is bad. Ah. What do we do? How do we find this girl? Huh. How do we find this yeah, girl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the orphanage. Orphanage? Yes. There was this day I, I saw her on the internet on one orphanage reading competition. When was that? Sometime last month. Yes. But I, I don't seem to remember the name of the orphanage. Did you say orphanage? Yes. Orphanage. Just hold on. Yeah. Let's search. I did myself reading composition. Let's search. Look at the names. Yeah. Search. I'm checking here too. Got it. Got it. This place? Yes. We check the address. We can go. Let's go in search of her. Don't cry, it's okay. Everything is going to be fine, okay? I'm fine. <sighs> we can go now. Sabi is no longer in this orphanage. She has been adopted. Uh, adopted? By who? Sorry, we don't disclose such information. Um, sister, I am her biological mother. Yes. Yes, please. I really need to see her. You need to help me, sister. Don't worry. Whatever is involved, I will pay. Please. Madam, I'm sorry. We do not condone such here. Besides, how, how do I know she's speaking the truth? Oh, she's speaking the truth, so is that daughter. Please help us. We beg of you, please. Madam, I'm sorry, Sabi is no longer here. Ah. Sabi has been adopted, and as we speak, she's with her new family. Family? Yes, and I was actually very busy before you got here. So if you permit me, I would like to get back to what I was doing. Oh, no. Please leave. Sister, please, you need to help me. I beg you. She is the only hope 
through which I can have another child. Please. Madam, I can't help you. Oh my God. There is nothing I can do. I can't disclose the information you are asking for. I am sorry. Please, you need to leave now. Sister, 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 I can't help you. Oh my God. I'm sorry. When we saw you, we, we felt we are actually meeting yeah, you. You're a good person. Like a good person that can help Madam, us. Madam, please leave. Uh -uh. Please, you need to go now. Sabi, you are welcome to our home. You are home. It's also your home. Our home. We love you. We'll take care of you. Oh, you, so you feel very comfortable and we love you very much. We love you so much. Hmm? Thank you, ma. Thank no. You, sir. You're welcome. Don't call me, ma. You can call me mom and call him dad. Dad, yes. Thank you, mom. Uh -huh. That's like it. Thank you, dad. Ah, thank you so much, my okay. son. Let me show you to your room. You shower. I will make anything you choose. Hmm? Yes? No, this is not acceptable. Yes, it is not acceptable. I've lost two contracts in the space of two weeks. I cannot lose another. Yes! No! Listen to me. Like I said, I cannot lose another contract. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, hello? Hello? Hello, Marissa. Yes, I tried calling you earlier on, but your number was not reachable. Yeah, we need to see immediately ASAP. <coughs> mm. I didn't know you were standing right before me. And I sent you out of the house. That's what's best. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Auntie, be going now. Mm -hmm. I don't have anywhere to go. Aww. Mm -hmm. I don't have anywhere to go. Want to stay back? Yes. yes. Oh. Auntie. When you came into my house, you came with nothing. And you will go with nothing. Okay? Be going. That's why I didn't let you carry those clothes, the bags, and everything. Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Hey, come, come. You're still wearing these slippers. My husband got my dear. Pull it up. Hey, SAP. Pull it up. I, I don't want to touch you. Move. So you don't infect, infect me with your disease. Be going. Yes, like that. Make sure the. Blinds don't touch your body. Oh my god! Sneak out! That's it. Out! Keep going. Going, going. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. 
forgive me, forgive me, I'm sorry, forgive me, <coughs> forgive me, forgive me, <laughs> If you're truly sorry, you wouldn't be here shedding crocodile tears. You would be out there searching for her. Savvy girl is indeed a blessing to your household. Not only has your wife's BP dropped to normal, you know, she has also healed from the trauma completely. Doctor, the truth of the matter is, Savvy is an exceptional child. Do you know that since we started living with that girl, I have never lost a case. Yes. Not, not only that, oh. my customers, my clients are increasing by the day. Yes. I am glad we listened to your advice. Mm, yes, exactly. I always want the best for my patients. So far, she has improved tremendously and there's no need for medications anymore. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Hey, I'm tired. We'll be here for the past three hours, yet nothing happened. I'm tired and hungry. I think we should just go. Meaning I have permitted you to go. Yeah, I appreciate all that you have done for me so far. This is my burden, my cross. I'll carry it. I'll make sure I deal with this to the end of it. Baby, I don't understand. You know I don't mean any harm. This is not how I mean it. What I'm saying is this. We've been doing this for weeks now, yet nothing happened. They, they, yet they could not allow us, they, they cannot even allow us to enter into the orphanage home. We've been doing this. Nothing is happening at all. What I'm saying is, let's just go. Okay, let's go look for something to eat. I'm tired. My stomach is making noise. That's all I said. I didn't mean any harm. Can we can we just um, give it time? Maybe find another means of looking for her. That's that's all I'm saying. Do you have an idea? Uh, not really, but I I could come up with something. Just give me time. That's all I'm saying. That is the point. I don't have that luxury of time. I'm gradually losing my husband. He doesn't eat my food. We don't have a proper conversation. I need to just find this girl as soon as possible. Don't you get it? Mibel, I think you're rushing things. Let's just calm down a bit and take a step and look for Miss and look for her. I, I can come up with something. I can look for We can look for her elsewhere and all that. All these things we're doing, you have been so much in a hurry and that's why the whole thing is not working out please now okay let's just look for something to eat because i'm sure you've not eaten either let's look for maybe stop embarrassing me now you know i have money here i don't like this stop embarrassing me am i asking for money or what you're acting like you don't understand what i mean Babe, here? please now please please my head is full i beg you please ah. i'm sorry i'm sorry I... Ah, oh, God. I wish they can even just let us in. 
<laughs> so, Mr. Flip, uh, what do I offer you? Oh, uh, well, nothing. I'm good. Absolutely good. Welcome, Daddy. How are you? Fine. Sabi? Uncle Philip. Do you know her? Oh, yeah. We... We've been searching for her. Searching for her? Yeah. How, uh, how do you mean? Well, uh, it's a long story. My daughter. I was but a child. I didn't know what I was doing. I never understood life at that age. Getting rid of you was my best option at that point in my life. That was why I did what I did. Please. Please forgive me, my daughter. Please. What? All I can say is that everything that has happened happened for a reason. If you had not sent me out of your house, I wouldn't have been healed or probably be here. To err is human. To forgive is divine. I forgive you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you so much, my child. Thank you. I, I promise you, I will give you the best of everything. I will take good care of you once we leave this house. I'm starting almost immediately. Excuse me, excuse me. I didn't say I'm going anywhere with you. Huh? I only say I have forgiven you. She is my mother. Yes. And he is my father. Yes. This is my home. This is my family. And this is where I belong. I am going nowhere with you. It's another chance. I cannot be going back and forth with you, Mabel. You cannot keep committing and asking for forgiveness. Who does that? You lost that chance the day you sent Sabi out of this house. I caught you cheating with Alex. I have had it up to here with you, Mabel. You will hear from my lawyers. And make sure you sign those divorce papers when you get them. Oh, no, no! The belly I get!
Are you serious? This is great news now. Okay. We shall be coming. Yes. We shall be coming, yes. Hi. Honey, what's with the excitement? Our daughter's school just called. They called to inform us that our daughter emerged the best student in the just concluded UNESCO online competition. Sabi. Yes. And has won a scholarship to study in UK. Wow! Congratulations, my champion. <sighs> Congratulations, my pride. Sabi, 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 Sabi,